Hello, it is Wayne and welcome to my vlog. As you can see, I'm still doing my gratitude jar. Um, I could have done a complete a completion of what I was reading, but I will see how it goes. So this is part two. If you have missed the first one, you can check in the comments or the link at the description below. And you will see what I'm talking about. The Gratitude Jar. The Gratitude Jar is where I have put in on a piece of paper what I've been grateful for throughout the year and then I would read it if I was feeling down or reading it on the last day of December. But it's already past December. So here we go! Okay, there's two dates here. It's the 12th and the 13th of September 2016. So that must have been around about midnight that I kind of wrote this. Sia is, as Sia as an artist and being a lyrical genius, Black and Blue helped me so much. Now, if you don't know who Sia is, she's a very well-known singer. She's known for wearing those wigs around her face to hide her, obviously, face. Um, she is a lyrical genius. She seems to really know what words to use in her music and her songs and it is just phenomenal. And I think I was going through a, a tough time at that time and Black and Blue was a song that really helped me transition in that time. Most probably I was on an emotional roller coaster. I can't really tell you what was going on through that day or night. But yeah, so, thank you, Sia. Right, the next one. I took three out at the same time, so let's see how it goes. Nothing from the beginning of the year, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I just said no, there's nothing from the beginning of the year. So here we go. The 10th of January, 2016. It's really well written, neatly written, actually. Rosie for being so supportive of me with the decisions I've been making with my life. Always encouraging. Now, you know Rosie from Rambling with Rose. She's been my friend for quite a long time. Um, as you have noticed, or if you've gone onto her Facebook page, she is a, a new mother. And she has been looking after baby Amelia for... Since she was born, obviously, <laughs> no doubt, hey. But um, but um, what was the point? Yes, um, Rosie was the first person that I told that I was gay, and she really, really gave me her support. And me coming out as gay, apparently, I've had it lucky compared to others who lost family members and friends over it. I think we should just be who we are. Be happy with yourselves. Because it's a lot of time wasting trying to be something else that you're not. If you're happy, be happy. Don't hide that happiness. And my dear friend Rosie did that for me. Always encouraging me. Always agreeing with me. Sometimes I don't really like that, but anyway. That's why you have a group of friends when you go to a specific friend to get that type of information but if you want a cold hard truth you go to another specific friend and I'm wondering if that's also in that jar of gratitude. Um, the 4th of September 2016 Catherine and David having conversations on a sunny afternoon after a difficult weekend the support they provide now, these two, <laughs> what a history I have with these two. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole sordid detail about how we all connected, but we are very close friends and they're married. And um, when I came out as gay in July, David was very, very supportive and they have become supportive to my friends in general. So, if anything had to happen, you literally, you can 
count on them to be there. And they, 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 they really care about me and they really care about the friends that they have and their constant support is, means a lot because sometimes, you know, you just need that little nudge going somewhere. Actually, a few days ago, um, I was actually kind of angry at David. <laughs> but I know that he, whatever he said to me, um, it comes from the heart. But lucky enough that I've become this person that I'm, un I'm able to understand what people are saying to me and not react so quickly. Um, I mean, they were there for my graduation. They were there for my graduation party. And yeah, and them being in my life is, is something that I need. Right, this is another six minute video. I do not want to have another 12 minute video because it takes too long to freaking load on YouTube. So, um, there's much more. I might do it like a part one, part two, which I've actually done. So, um, stay tuned for part three.